West Ham United were founded in 1895 as Thames Ironworks and they are a club in East London with a rich history. They are currently managed by former Everton and Manchester United boss David Moyes and sit in the Premier League. Last season, the club listed their second ever European trophy, their first since the 1965 European Cup winners final win over 1860 Munich. This time, it was in the Europa Conference League as they beat Italian side Florentina 2-1. However, this season they have suffered some embarrassing results and several West Ham fans have been displaying their frustration with the head coach. However, the club still find themselves in a comfortable 7th place in the Premier League and tonight they take on SC Freiburg in the UEFA Europa League round of 16. They find themselves 1-0 down on aggregate so they'll need to put in a big performance but if they can get the win today they'll progress to the quarter final. Right then, hello everybody. Uh, we've just arrived at Oxford train station. Uh, first ever video using this camera and already having the hair malfunctions, but it's windy, all right? It's windy, leave me alone. Uh, so today we are off to Stratford uh, in London to go to the London Stadium, home of West Ham United. And we're gonna watch them take on SC Freiburg in a huge game. It's the Europa League round of 16. But first, we need to get to Stratford. I'm here at Oxford train station. We'll get a train to Paddington and then the Elizabeth line. Jesus, it's practically empty. You don't understand how rare this is for a train to London from Oxford. Normally, I mean, it's not practically empty, it is empty. Actually, normally you can't get through the door. Wow, living the life here. Right then, we have made it to London, Paddington. So now the time is 3.52, kickoffs at 5.45, which is a stupid time really for a Europa League match that decides who goes to the next stage, because people are at work, you know? It, it, it's a silly time, but um, anyway, really, it's a really important match today, and I'm glad I've got a ticket. Got a really good seat as well towards uh, Nearer the pitch than I usually sit at West Ham because obviously people at the London Stadium are always very critical of how, how far away the seats are from the pitch because of course the stadium was built for uh, the Olympics, uh, it's not exactly built for football but I'm rambling here, let's get on our way to the London Stadium. Parking hell, I generally don't think there's a busier train station in this planet in this place, than this uh, Stratford Underground Station. Jesus, well, we're here, just a short walk to the stadium now. The weather has taken a turn for the worse as well, by the way windy. Uh, the rain's died down now so I can actually hit the camera out but thank god I got this haircut. Um, it's not looking the best right now but uh, if I hadn't got it cut it would have been blowing in my eye. I don't to see anything. As I walked up to the London Stadium I was a bit nervous about whether they were going to let me in or not. See I recently purchased a new camera DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for anyone who cares and I was a bit confused on what the rules were getting into the stadium. Luckily, for anyone who needs this information, and I know it can be quite hard to find online, they didn't uh, say anything about the camera. He did find the camera, but he didn't say anything and let me through. I, uh, I like the overall design of London Stadium. I think it looks really, really modern. These big screens that show information on the current and upcoming matches are my favorite thing about it. 
a ton of food options down here, but to be honest, I want to get inside, get out of the rain and uh, take a look at the stadium. That was so easy. I'm actually very happy with how easy that was. Got the camera in, ticket scan, nice, an hour to spare. Let's see what the food and drink situation is and let's head inside. I'm sat today in block 135, row 15, seat 276. Although, I did actually get moved 15 minutes into the game to seat 275 as someone wanted to sit with their friend. Oh. Unreal seats. Whoa, 25 quid. Bargain. Now I know where the seat is, I'm going to go and get a drink. Come on your irons and maybe some food. Got a pie. Not really what I wanted, but it would do. Um, also, the DJ's on. If you look over there, I've never ever been able to find where the DJ actually is. I haven't got a clue. Genuinely, I, I can't see him anywhere. So then, here's the starting lineups of both teams. Firstly, West Ham. In goal is Lucas Fabianski. In defence, you've got Sufal, Zuma, Mavropanos, and Cresswell. In the midfield, it's Alvarez, Suchek and Paqueta. On the wings, you've got Mohamed Kudus and Jarrah Bowen. And the striker today is Antonio. Now on to SC Freiburg. And apologies in advance if I butcher any of these pronunciations. Formation from Freiburg is very, very strange. There's a picture of it on the screen now. So rather than doing that, I'm just going to list them in order as they are on the thing. In goal, it's Atu Bolu. Then you've got Gulda, Eggstein, Hola, Salali, Sitilia. Hoffler, Ginter, Gunter, Grifo, and Doan. I'm 100% certain I butchered them. I really do apologise. Now, if you're new to the channel, which everyone is, because it's only been up for this is my second video, um, I'm, I'm an Oxford United fan all the way down in League One when I go around stadiums and uh, just watch games that I can get to. And uh, I've been to a lot of West Ham games recently, and I, I love it here. I think it's brilliant. Um, it's just easy to get to, it's always a nice place to be. Um, and this is a huge game, uh, so I'm really excited to see what happens tonight. Approaching kickoff now, this is it. They're a bit too close to my liking, you can feel it. So then, here we go for one final time. It's West Ham versus SC Freiburg. The game is about to kick off. The players are about to walk out of the tunnel. It's a huge game. West Ham 1-0 down on aggregate. They need to win here to force themselves through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. A possible 120 minutes to play plus penalties, but I'm sure West Ham will want to get this done within the first 90. I love this song. <laughs> I'm forever blowing bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the air. They fly so high, nearly reach the sky. Then, like my dreams, they fail. Stadium. Corner for West Ham. Oh. We'll repeat the trick.
Zero offside for either side, five corners for West Ham, they scored from one of them, and one corner for Freiburg. Nothing came of it. That's how it's looking at the break. I want you to take a look at what happens here. This run from Kudus is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just sit back, relax and enjoy.
saying this to Porton is unbelievable. What a performance, what a game, 4-0. Despite preference to one side, but as a neutral, quite you know, if it had gone to uh, pens, I'd my first penalty shootout, but no, five goals in one game doesn't come very often. And they sing Sweet Caroline in the background as we leave the London Stadium behind. I mean, there's turning a game around and getting the win in the second leg of a, of a double ended uh, game, but. Then there's that, you know, that was unbelievable by West Ham. So then, what a game that was. West Ham United versus SC Freiburg at the London Stadium in the Europa League round of 16 and it's West Ham United who progressed more than comfortably with the 5-0 win over Freiburg. The goals were all decent, especially some of them were very, very good. The first one comes from a corner and Paquita receives the final ball to place it into the back of the net. The second one is a lovely goal from Jared Bowen. The third one is number three for West Ham and it's West Ham's number three. Aaron Cresswell, who scores the goal. And our fourth was something special. A dribble from his own half from Mohamed Kudus. He dribbles all the way and finishes it with a lovely, cool, calm and collected finish. 
And the fifth was that man again, Mohamed Kudus. A lovely, lovely goal. But all in all, I really enjoyed my experience. I know London Stadium receives a fair bit of criticism for the way it is, and granted I was sat quite close. I love it there. I really do enjoy my time when I go there. I'm not a West Ham fan. I'm a Oxford United fan. That's the team I support in EFL League 1. I'm from Oxford. I travel to all the games from Oxford. Um, but whenever I go to West Ham, I don't know, I always have a pleasant time. Um, and I'm looking forward to going to more West Ham games and more games from all sorts of teams. Uh, let me know where you'd like me to visit in the comments down below. Anyway, yeah, really good experience. Loved it. Food was nice because that pie was banging. I, I, I didn't even refill it that much, but it was banging. Yes, good. No negatives, to be honest. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.